Well, happy Friday, everybody. I am Jennifer Elizabeth Masters. I'm a soul sculptor, I'm a coach, a healer, a channel, and I help you. I help you break the mold of past trauma and suffering so that you can have the amazing life that you dream of and deserve. Ah, well, happiness. How would you like to be happy? How would you like to be happy right now? And how would you like to be happy effortlessly? So that is my goal today, is to share steps to being happy right now. And from someone who didn't used to be happy, <laughs> and one that is, I, I can give you the, the truth, the lowdown. Okay, number one, we are on this path alone. Yes, there are people around us, but it is what we think, it is how we feel that creates our world. And so focusing on other people, he did this to me, he didn't do that, she won't do that. <laughs> wanting other people to do things and we get disappointed, that's number one. We have got to focus on us, being happy with us now, loving who we are, accepting the light, the dark. All of us, you know, the, the things that, that may be not perfection. So at lovingly accepting who we are is the number one key, not only to just happiness, but also to success. So it is, it is how we feel inside. It is how we think about ourselves and not needing anyone else to validate us, to tell us how wonderful we are, how great we are, how, um, <laughs> or to determine our worth. Nobody else determines any of that for us. It is all us. Okay, that's number one. Number two, let go of expectations of others. Now, if you've got small children, that's a totally different story. But <laughs> if you have a husband, a partner, and you're expecting certain things from them, you will be disappointed. So the way I recommend that you, you go about your life is live your life as if you are the only one in the household and don't expect him to take out the trash and don't demand it, don't nag because nagging is the number one way to ruin any kind of relationship, whether it's a relationship with a friend, with children, with a spouse, with a partner, it is the number one way to ruin a relationship. So nagging, let go of all nagging. And okay, so number three, let go of control. So expecting other people to be or do or have or act a certain way is going to disappoint us. So we have to accept people the way they are, love them as they are. Everybody's living their own life. They're having their own experience. And we, again, it's back to numero uno, us. And so uh, the number one way, you know, everybody's going to have a different a different way of living. They're going to um, adjust to things in a different way. They're going to have different belief systems. And you know, in my household, in my, my family, you know, there's, there's, we all have different ideas and opinions. And we still, we respect one another. We don't say, well, you believe that, so I don't respect you, or I hate that about you. No, <laughs> we lovingly accept one another as we are without trying to change one another. That's, that's the biggest lesson I think that I have learned on this planet is that you know, everybody is who they are and we need to not try and fix anyone or try and change anyone because we will be sorely disappointed. So accepting everyone for their beliefs, for the way they live their life and not, you know, we, when we sit in judgment, <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna laugh about that one. I've done it, believe me, I've done it. Sitting in judgment of anyone else is, is the fastest way to create unrest between loved ones. And so um, that is huge. It, I had a huge discovery of, of my family this past weekend with my birthday. I 
felt deeply loved without judgment. You know, for my family to accept me for who I am and what I do and, and just love me like, oh wow, what a, what a beautiful thing that, that is. And, and so when we accept ourselves without judgment, we stop judging ourselves, it extrapolates over everything. And, okay, so where are we, number four? Number five, we create our reality. So if we focus on negative, if we focus on hate, if we focus on, oh, I don't like that, oh, that house is ugly, oh, look at what he did, that's all judgment. It's all judgment. Instead, see the world through eyes of love, beauty, acceptance. Everywhere I go, there's magic. Everywhere I go, there's love. It's because that's my perception. I love myself, I accept myself, and I accept all of you the way you are. I'm not trying to change anyone, I'll try. I will help you if you ask, I will coach you if you ask, I'll do healing with you if you ask. However, I'm not gonna try and change you. So, so the, the lenses that we see things through, the way we look at, at things, changes everything and and you know we grow up we have filters our filters are different from one another's my filter is probably different than yours because of the reality of my childhood however what I will say is that past created this and I'm really happy with this so it, it you have to let go of what happened in the past and letting go is one of the biggest ways to create happiness. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, <laughs> letting go of control, letting go of expectations, letting go of trying to fix other people, accepting others as they are. But, but here's the bigger truth of all of this, is that if we don't accept ourselves, if we're not lovingly accepting who we are as we are, with, with all our flaws, we're flawed individuals, we're, we're not perfect. Stop trying to be perfect. Stop trying to please other people because we can't. Yes, love them, give to them, but don't expect anything in return because that expectation, that's where, that's where the things start to fall apart and crumble. And so on this fabulous weekend, it's Halloween tomorrow. I'm so excited. I'm doing a live ghost story tonight at 6 p.m. On, on my Facebook page, on the Facebook. And these are all true stories. Um, my family may show up, I'm hoping. I'm gonna invite them all because they have shared these experiences with me, a lot of them. And so um, I invite you to join me at 6 p.m. Mountain, that's Boulder, Colorado time. It will be dark, I will have candles lit, there will be ghostly music in the background, and I invite you, if you would like, you can send me any, any kind of stories that you've experienced, you can do it through uh, email. My email address is jenniferelizabethmasters at gmail.com. Okay, so let's just regroup here. Happiness, how to be happy. The biggest way, the biggest thing we can do is lovingly accept ourselves as we are, the good, the bad, the flawed, and lovingly accept ourselves. You know, we're, we are light and dark, and until we embrace all of ourselves, lovingly accepting ourselves as we are, then, see, what, what that does for us, it shifts everything because then we stop focusing on what's wrong with everyone else because we lovingly accept ourselves with compassion. Okay, so letting go of control, accepting others as they are, seeing through eyes of love instead of hate. So our focus, our focus with our minds and our thoughts, this judgment thing that's going on just... I see love everywhere I go. My life is beautiful and joyful. If we focus on those things, that's what we create in our reality. Now, if you've been negative up until today, it may take the universe a little while to catch up with your new reality, but it will. 
and I will tell you, life becomes magical when we stop trying to control everyone else. We lovingly accept things as they are, and um, the key to happiness is to be happy with ourselves, and then everything else is so much easier. So. Happy Halloween weekend. It's a fabulous full moon Halloween. There's a blue moon. Not it, The moon won't be blue, but it is the second full moon in the month of October, and the veil is thinner, so we have to watch what we think and say because we manifest so much more quickly when the veil is thin. And also, you know, there may be ghostly uh, apparitions. There may be uh, visits from the afterlife. My dad may drop by to say hello. Um, who knows? We don't know who's going to show up. So I'm sending you a big virtual hug today. Happy Friday. Enjoy your day. And remember, all work and no play makes us very dull. So I am going to spend the afternoon playing. I hope you will too. I love you. Thanks for watching. Mwah.